Hey there, everyone. How are you guys doing? Hi, everyone. How are you doing? So, before they even start, I'll tell you in advance, today is gonna be a weird one. Matt, this would have been different um, if I had a body. I'm playing because my sleep was taken away by the encounter with the new lodger. Oh, come on, dude. If you didn't let it in, you wouldn't be so scared now. Um, no. Uh, that, that's not the point. That it's not um, a lodger we wanted in. Just came in. But it's not something incredible. You didn't wake up and found a lion in your kitchen, right? Okay, no, it's a mouse. And uh, I know my wife is gonna wake me up very early tomorrow morning. And uh, it's already quite late. So basically today I won't sleep. Hence this take, I don't know if it is a whole episode, but this take... This one's gonna be weird. I think you're both overreacting. I don't even remember what we were doing. So should we expect your wife to come in at any time? Yeah, there's a chance she may come here like any moment. <laughs> so yeah, more weirdness. There is nothing in particular, so I would say we keep on checking around. Are you sure there's nothing left to check in the quarry, just so we don't waste time? No, this should be done. I don't want to start from a... Uh, I don't like the acid spikes. <coughs> She's avoiding the mouse. This is how we're gonna move the water more. We're all gonna be this way. The front of us. Steel. Okay, enough. <laughs> Dude, you already went in there like three times. Yeah, just checking. Yeah, you shouldn't. You already did that. Sometimes the easy things to miss are those, well, seem obvious. Yeah, but I recorded every time you checked, so stop philosophizing and start moving. Gonna get annoying real fast. So you're just making sure you check everything around here. I know what to do. Not completely sure anymore. So, after a long, long time chasing nothing, we decided we'd better progress with the game. What's that face for? Are you biting your own lip, secretly planning to conquer the planet or simply holding a stuff? Stop talking about my face. Stop twisting it like you aren't sure if you should have a light dinner or nuke Mars. Okay. Let's have a look down here first. Mm. 
Good place for the desk. Okay. Somebody had a secret love for workspace. Not so secret really. There's desks everywhere. Well not so secret after all, yeah. It's a bit in your face. P7. Close cases. This one? Oh nice. Okay, let's fight. Are there more of them? Cannot see them. Of course there are. I'm not sure if it was hiding, or the AI didn't work properly. Either way, it didn't expect to get furniture thrown at its face. Yeah, it didn't take me in account. Oh, I didn't check down here. Oh, this place makes me feel sick. Oh, 
Oh, it, it really gets me. It really, it really gets me. <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing else. we do this <coughs> this is the entrance okay okay let's stop this is gonna be lore lore full for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. <laughs> I, I cannot uh, laugh aloud, but guys, I'm dying. <laughs> Yeah, that sample that. Are you sure? Yes. Sampling complete. Let me hear it. No, I, don't <laughs> I cannot believe they did this show to explain what the FBC does to kids. Kids, man, how evil is that? Yeah. Bright Falls, AWE 35. Event Summary An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Event Response Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13, 2010 by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker, C. Redacted, that an AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington, refer to events investigated in 1970, 1976, 1978. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. 
A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, refer to the 1970 redacted Thomas Zane, 1976, 1978 Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson. Alan Wake was believed to redacted instigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possible object of power, that redacted missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but no body was recovered in the search. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's... That's saying something. I, the boy. Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. That's so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. He's, he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Okay. Um, yeah. There's something I'd like to tell Dr. Darling if you allow me to. What? Stop wasting our time. <laughs> Just to remark our tight timings. Transcript of conversation, subject, Dylan Faden, for review by Dr. Darling. Confidential, note, subject was alone during this outburst. 1752. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. 1752. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. 1752. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. And I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. 1752. Fuck off you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase, fuck off, numerous times before being sedated at 1753. Are you still going? Yeah, I'm still laughing. What's that? <clears throat> oh yeah, it's... Um, Dylan's cell. Oh, another one. Case 45, HQ 121. Case summary. Agent killed during redacted involving redacted redacted code name P6. Autopsy findings. 1. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck. 2. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. 2a, lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. 2b, fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. 2c, avulsion fracture of the 3rd through 10th ribs, left and right. 3, blunt force injuries of the extremities. 3a, abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. 3b, dislocation of left and right elbow. 3c, dislocation of left and right knee. Conclusion. 
After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the redacted was contorted through his redacted. Missed the map, all right. It's always the same image. Maybe not really. Different angles, maybe. Anyways, this is done. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Oof, that's creepy. Yeah. Creepy doesn't really cut it. <coughs> Subject, Jesse Faden, P7. Re, eastward movement, cause for concern. 24th of September 2019. Departs Cheyenne, Wyoming. 24th of September 2019. Arrives in Sydney, Nebraska. 25th of September 2019. Departs Sydney, Nebraska. 26th of September 2019. Arrives in Des Moines, Iowa. 30th of September 2019. Departs Des Moines, Iowa. 1st of October 2019. Arrives in Chicago, Illinois. 8th of October 2019. Departs Chicago, Illinois. 8th of October 2019. Arrives in South Bend, Indiana. 11th of October 2019. Departs South Bend, Indiana. 11th of October 2019. Arrives in Cleveland, Ohio. 19th of October 2019. Departs Cleveland, Ohio. 20th of October 2019. Arrives in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. 29th of October 2019. Departs Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. 29th of October 2019. Arrives in New York City, New York. Basically, basically all the last month. And I hear there is also her picture as the director. And this is even more creepy. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time... I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. The dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing! This light projector... Let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... 
I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, that sh the psychiatrist is <coughs> just suppose 54,000 <laughs> Christians altogether, and she was expecting like a proper reply. That's not how it works. They studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. Hmm. Okay, before I go there. Okay, it just opened this. Okay, fine. Looks like you're adopting a shoot from cover approach again. Yeah, I stayed on the back step because I don't know, I just. I don't know. I wasn't feeling like being too brave. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. Oh, this one ties to the other letter. Yes, the airplane one, and there should be more too. Yeah. I can search for that letter in my database. I don't know if you can let read it. That I don't, don't feel forced. It's not that important. It was just people basically just complaining about who's got that out, the, the worst job. If you're done talking, I have the letter here. Shipping Manifest, Willow AWE, Inventory List of Recovered Materials A hollow sphere, stone-like material Vitrified soil, redacted pieces of various sizes and colors Animal carcass, possibly canine Rusted metal bucket Leather wallet Aged shotgun cartridge All materials to go to the investigation sector for further analysis What's the Willow AWE? I don't know man, at the moment I'm man Man, really? Yeah, that actually felt weird for me as well. I don't know, see, like, I'm, I'm just looking around and thinking about having a mouse in the other room and I'm not feeling okay. Oh, come on, that thing is definitely more scared than you are. You know, I may have a way to help you with that. Yeah? Yeah, just free your mind and get ready to receive the best advice of your whole life. Here it comes. No, Tell them, tell that to the mouse, not to me. I'm fine. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Oh, that's really, really red. Yeah, let's go into the lights. Oh, 
we still have them finished. We're going back home. Of course we are. It started there and it's never gone away. What? It was touching me somehow? It's weird. the clocks Written page AI 83 KE background. The page was discovered in an instance of the, the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigation sector. The page had been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. Redacted. Appendix. Text transcribed from the item. For 10 years I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they are all the same. It's a hideous trap. My every thought made real. Fear. Desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you mad. The identifiable words in the scratched out portion. Falls, bright falls, haunting, wake, Alan wake, light switch, ocean, too late, and the final sentence, you've been warned. So is Alan still stuck in the dark place? Well, I don't really know, not until I get to play... I'll have week two. But we gotta finish this first. I'd like to analyze <coughs> Alan's experience in the dark place. It'd be a nice starting point for the lore study. I don't know about the lore. Like, I do wanna... <coughs> release that video that was getting ready, but... At the end of the day... At the moment, I cannot really say much more rather other than the nature of things. Because it is a fact that I cannot know the numbers. Rotate these tracks. Of course, there maybe is. there's a control panel nearby. <laughs> of course, it's closed. There's okay. gotta be a way to rotate. Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> okay, enough now. These tracks. 
Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes? Me, that's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. <laughs> yeah, still added to the same conversation, of course. I don't know what she threw. This looks like a messed up place for a fight, so you are totally gonna get attacked. Yeah. No mercy for those ones. little puzzle Okay, now that is active. Now always active.
Gotta rush it up, dude. This is starting to be a long capture. Yeah, you're right. But I don't wanna stop now. Altered examination request, airplane wreckage. Summary. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Redacted Cincinnati. It is suspected to be connected to the Redacted AWE, see case file redacted for details, and is being evaluated for altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector, brought there through the New York subway tunnel, special access redacted, for more information on tunnel redacted and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks, and redacted C file for 12-4521. The plane's black box is currently being evaluated for redacted redacted and initial readings have been taken by a research team, though no altered status has yet been detected. Refer to file 9-12-8371 for full report. There is a way forward there. I thought we would open that that door there, but no, we don't. Okay. Buddy. Ordinary AWE Stage 1A Dump Witness Testimonies The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. DF, Interview, 2002 The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. JF, Therapy Session, 2010 I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil, note, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, note, likely Tom Barlow, missing, and his gang, Freddy, note, likely Frederick Bartwell, missing, Hugo, note, no one by this name was found in public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. DF, interview, 2002. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide, designation, house. What's that swishing sound? I don't like it. No, I don't like that sound either. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thanks for staying with us. Here's our first call. Hi. What am I about to tell you? If they found out, I don't know what would happen. If you found out, brother. The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Colin. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, Colin. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I, I'm sorry. It's just... My brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but... It wasn't. I went there. 
The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. So, if this is a way to stir people away from AWEs, why do they let people talk about them publicly? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to achieve, honestly. Ordinary AWE 24 Event Summary An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary, caused by an object of power, slide projector, ID, OOP-15, discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Event Response On August 30, 2002, siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector, COOP15 case file and Darling presentations redacted for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests, see interviews redacted and prime candidate program files redacted. Yeah, this place is dense. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world, in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. Okay. Come on, see. Go fast. Ordinary AWE Stage 4A, Town Proper, Witness Testimonies. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector, and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. DF, Interview, 2002. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. JF, Therapy Session, 2010. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. DF, Interview, 2002. Extrapolated information. Additional slide, designation, hand, SID, 36, is verified and in bureau possession. 
Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation, Dog Neil, EID, 19930. Okay. Yeah, she was inside the box. Just l check this room out and then we stop. Oh, here it. Ordinary AWE Stage 2, Sled Hill Cave. Witness testimonies. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. DF, interview, 2002. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where, the projector, was. They'd been using the, temple, slide, we called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse, or a bomb shelter, or something. Very dark. The not mother lived there with her, babies, children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. JF, therapy session, 2010, extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide, designation, temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity, designation, not, mother, EID, 19928. Now we also have something called the not mother. Not mother, I don't know. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, Describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog, or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where <laughs> is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... I don't blame him. I will probably lose lose my my head as well. Come on, just think about it. Anyways, yeah, we stop playing for now. I don't know if this is uh, the end of the episode. We're back to that. I have no idea. But if it is, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you did, if you did not, you can do so now. Luca pays you if you subscribe. No, he doesn't. <coughs> and. Um, yeah, comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one. Yes, people, see you in the next episode, and remember... No, it's